Yo, what's up guys? Old School Dan here and in today's video I want to discuss Chet Jordan's Barrel Chest Workout. No, that is not the title of the article. The uh, title of the article that I got, I sourced this from is called My Chest is a Fortress by Chet Jordan. But I gave it a clickbait title that way it can get more views and therefore more revenue and blah 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 blah. Anyways, in this video we're going to discuss Chet Jordan's um, workout chest work routine. We're going to go over some notes. We're going to go over the actual workout, then finally finish out with some of the sources and some pictures that I actually received this workout from. So with that being said, let's get started. All right, so here are some notes I wrote down from the article. Number one, bulking and shaping the chest itself ties it properly to the shoulders. So some of this, this is some of the stuff he focuses on. Bulking the chest, shaping it up, and make sure it's properly tied to the shoulders. The second note I wrote down is, doesn't use extraordinarily heavy weights, but concentrates very hard. As you may have noticed, Chet Jordan is a very large man. He looks very muscular. He's big. He's strong. He looks strong, but he says he doesn't use heavy weights, but he concentrates extremely hard when doing the exercises, getting that full contraction, that good focus. He works his chest for an hour and then moves on to the next body part. So what does that mean? That means he works on the chest for, for an hour and then he moves on to what? biceps triceps no we're not really sure um i'm still trying to figure out what his full routine is that way um because i ordered this book mostly just because it had chet jordan in it but i want to find out more of his routine like what was his actual split like like you may find stuff at the internet but you don't know it's for sure until you actually see it on paper yourself like that's how i want to see it i want to see chet's full routine on paper and readable like we're a credible source, not just from some website saying they wrote it down. I want to see it for myself, but this is something I was able to discover. Okay, so he does chest for an hour and then moves on to another body part. This given some hints that he probably has a sort of a split routine, right? It's not full body. It's probably a split routine. So the, la um, the fourth note I wrote down is a massive chest comes from developing a full and high deep rib box. So again, a classic bodybuilding note right there, developing deep rib box. Last note I wrote down is use deep breathing exercises, pullover movements, and squats. So he does mention doing breathing breathing pullovers, um, breathing squats, deep breathing exercises to build a big chest. All right, so those are some notes. Now let's move on to the actual workout, which you might find very interesting. Here we go. The workout starts off with a bench press, does four sets of 10 repetitions with 285. Okay, moves on to the dumbbell bench press, four sets of 10 repetitions with 90 pound dumbbells. That's not a lot of weight for a big guy like Chet Jordan. Um, Steve Reeves actually used 100, up to 120 pounds on the incline press. Here, Chet Jordan, comparing to Chet Jordan, Chet Jordan uses 90 pounds on the incline dumbbell press for four sets of 10. They moves, again, this workout is in complete order from start to finish. I didn't randomly put them they're all in the exact order which i took it from the article dumbbell flies four sets of 10 repetitions 40 pounds you would think it'd probably be a little bit more like maybe like 50 to like 70 pounds on dumbbell flies but again like i mentioned in the notes he uses deep concentration doesn't use heavy weights dumbbell crossover now this is exactly done this like a cable crossover but with dumbbells lying down on the bench. I will show you at the end of the video some pictures of the dumbbell crossover. Does that for 40 pounds. Then lastly, finishes off his chest workout with standing crossover with cables. So basically like cable flies, four sets of 10 reps. So again, at the end of the video, I'm going to show you all the pictures from the article. Him doing the bench press, dumbbell flies, incline press, dumbbell crossover, cable, cable flies. But before we finish up, I want to show you where I sourced this from. All right, so I sourced this from the Illustrated Muscle Bully Magazine of Champions, Mr. America, in July 1968, Volume 10, Number 2. Yeah, so I bought this magazine for about, this one's like $50. This one was the most expensive magazine, because maybe because it had Chet Jordan in it and his routine in it. But um, the other two that I bought, the one that has Jim Haslow's routine, the other one has, oh, I forgot what it has. I think it might have been, oh, Harold Poole's, um, Harold, no. Hair pulls diet. Those are both like twenty bucks, but this one was fifty dollars because 
Probably because it had Chet Jordan in it. But anyways, let me show you some pictures from the article. All right, so here are some pictures I took from the article. So right here, we got Chet Jordan doing the cable crossover, the pulley crossovers. On the right-hand side, we got him doing the flat dumbbell press, the flat bench press. And over here, we have Chet Jordan doing some dumbbell crossovers on the top um, two pictures. And the last picture, we got Chet Jordan doing the inclined dumbbell press. And on the right, we got a glared picture of Chet Jordan hitting a side chest. So there we have it, folks. Um, there's still a mystery to figure out what Chet Jordan's routine is actually like. I've seen a lot on the internet, but I'm not entirely sure if that's true. And I want to see it on paper. I need to see it in a magazine form. Like, okay, this is what he did. Um, this is how many reps he did. And this is how often he exercises. How did he eat and whatnot. I'm tired of seeing all that stuff on the internet and don't even know if it's true because a lot of people don't list sources. I'm trying to list more of my sources that way it reinforces my credibility builds more trust in my audience that i'm actually a legit credible guy but a lot of people don't do that because maybe because they're just stealing it from someone else i'm not even sure but yeah so if you enjoyed this video please subscribe for more videos like this give this video a thumbs up share this with someone who wants to know what chet Jordan's training was like thanks for watching i'm Moscow dan checking out peace